Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Expeditions Rome. We can travel to the Pharaoh's Palace in the city of Alexandria for a meeting. Uh, the Lion Arena is on the way, so I think we're going to swing by there first. And go see what the next fight is. Um, it's supposed to be with lions, so I think we will see what that will be like. Uh, hunting grounds is done. Collect taxes is done. 181 denarii and 56 rations. So that's pretty good. Now returning to the outposts now. An ancient traveler's shrine. A shrine to a god of travel, no doubt. We should leave an offering just in case. We need not answer to any barbarian gods. Do you know what this is, Legate? Free money. And I'm just going to leave a little bit. As I always do. <laughs> okay, so... Kaiso... Cineros... Bestia... Yulia... And Dayanara. Alright. Let's go fight some big kitties. I will try not to kill them. Typical career path of a senator began as a Quaestor. Oh my god, the Quaestor is from Super Robot Wars. Oh. So that's where they come from. Okay. I don't think there's been an update, so we're still uh, very, very choppy. A nice shot of the uh, bull's butt there. Alright. Let's go ahead and get inside. be nice if they tweak this so it's not quite as, uh, I don't know, I mean, um, I don't think it's like taking more resources, it's just kind of feels like it's, I don't know, not, not efficient or whatever. I don't Let know. me know when you are ready. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Let's go! So this is a new recording session, uh, now complete with audio. <laughs> okay, preparation. Eliminate all lions and gladiators. Gain a 20 approval to make characters rallied. 35 approval in one turn to make characters berserk. Ah. Eliminate enemies plus 25. Eliminate multiple enemies with the same character within the same turn, plus seven. Use tactical items from the arena, plus five, so not our tactical items. And heal characters, minus 15. Okay. So we're starting up here. We've got uh, a water jug. That's not a big deal. Oil jar, not a big deal. So we've got a lion. It's a lion. Movement 8, immune to morale, no retaliation chance, and main hand to base damage 5 to 7, no resistances at all, 35% uh, fire resistance, no poison resistance. It has immovable, grants permanent immunity against uh, getting moved by rebuke, shove, shield push, push and shove, repulse, and counter advance. Pack tactics. Enemies are flanked when more than one lion is adjacent to them. Ah, that's kind of neat. I like that. Uh, 45 health on that lion. 45 health on that lion. Uh, let's see. 45 health there. are attracting. It looks like these guys are fighting the lions, but I'm not sure. Lioness. 
Heltas Gladiator. Heltas Gladiator, Arena Fighter. And a Gladiator. And then, of course, Marissa Moon up there. Okay, so I could move over here, and that would get me access to the Javelins, which I do like. Um, be good for uh, taking out their shields. Alright, let's do that, because we have here an oil jar, an oil barrel. Uh, I don't think I have a flaming arrow, so I can't do that. No, I don't. All right. Get you over there. So, I have to eliminate all the enemies, I think? I'm not sure if, uh, I just need to take out most of them. Alright. So that guy does have a shield. That guy has a shield. See target. All right. Eight to nine shield damage. There we go. Oh. Now you're getting it. D d d d Is that because of my sword? I mean, I know. Okay, yeah, it is. 25% chance to set your target on fire every time you deal damage. It doesn't matter what I'm using. Okay. Uh, Cineros, it's actually... I should, probably should have done this earlier, but let's get some extra movement. You don't have a shield. You don't have a shield. You do. So I want to see if I can get... No. Uh... No. No. Target is in cover. All right. Can't move there. All right. Let's move back here. Get a pylum. Uh, three health damage. I can shred more of his armor. Yeah. Oh, I must admit, I've missed the sound of a cheering crowd. Yeah, it's actually a pretty bad uh It's a pretty bad position. So I'll I'll cover the the lions, I guess. That'll work. 
Alright, so you have goading. Enemies prefer attacking the character. Retaliation reduces morale of the uh, target by 5. Vengeful guarantees a retaliation with 100% crit chance against any enemy who incapacitates the character. I guess that's if they get back up on their feet. I uh, probably could have thrown a pile on but fourteen or fourteen to twenty-one, ninety-two percent chance of success. Sixteen damage. Alright. All right, so you got a retaliation there, but uh, because of the uh, deflection, nothing happened. All right, I am a little bit worried about her being up here and the lions coming in. I don't know what their movement is. Can I see that? Movement eight. Yeah, so they'd be able to get up to her. Yeah, no uh, Pila remaining. All right. See how this goes. Yeah, the lions are uh, attacking people. Ooh. D uh, what are they doing? 24 damage is pretty good. Resisted burning. Three damage. It's like a free-for-all here or something. Alright, well, we are flanking uh, this guy. Um, Alright, I think that uh, you actually need to do more. Let's see. Quick shot. Ah, oh, poop. All right, daggers. They like that, it seems. Okay, that's good. Here for the second, for the moment. All right, I can't get up around, and Elmandred is going to be flanked unless I just go down and attack you. You are injured, so. All right, sneak attack. That's a cheap shot first. This is all too easy. Seventeen. Ooh. <laughs> Holy cow. Extra. <laughs> I'm good with this. I'm good with this. Can't tactical advance. I could faint. There we go. Not 
not flanked. So I stab or let's go with lunge. I don't know why I don't have an attack here, but whatever. Okay. Um, now you have no shield, so that's fine. I don't need to do like a shield hook. Crippling slash. Uh, actually, a sneak attack is going to be better. Cheap shot. Is worthy of the arena. I mean, we are in the arena, Bestia. Alright, you have nine. Uh, it's not enough there. Ah, Alright, let's go ahead and shiv you then. Poop! Rude. There we go. We have their attention, it seems. It was glancing, but that didn't matter. Go ahead and flank the kitty. Okay. Uh, what can we do? Spin attack, I guess. to 17. 16. Knocked down. Okay. I uh, kind of wish that I had the death blow uh, thing now. Okay. I have no great ability to take the kitty out. Unless I that, but that feels like a waste. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna shoot, but that's okay. Well, you got two attacks. You got two attacks. Um, that sets movement to zero. Oh my lord! <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. It's fine. All the deflections. I had one of the uh, slashes that hits two uh, people. I do not. Okay. One glancing. Great. Great. All right. Feels like a waste, but. <laughs> um. I'm getting a lot of uh, kills here. Reach. Eh, it's just glancing. It's unfortunate. It's just, just building up the uh, turns on them. You know? Um, target some cover. All right, run down there. Ah! 
18 damage. Target is more than one hex away, huh? All right. I got rid of your movement, so there's not a whole lot that you can do. Um, I just rally you guys, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Uh, sword charge. That's yeah, not going to work. Tactical. Oh no, I can't. I can't sword charge at all. Oh, I can backstab. Nice. <laughs> Just like old times. All right, it's gonna take some movement. Uh, mo take an attack to get out over there, but that's okay. Mandretta, you can come over here. Still have no, uh, mm. Alright, well, you don't have any movement, so. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Okay. Well, I probably shouldn't have moved you, though. someone. the last one, I'm not sure that I can get this guy with anything that I've got. Because <laughs> all I have are charge attacks. Um, oh, Dan Era has some stuff. Let's do that. What do you, what do you have? Uh, you got lunge. Oh, I should have shield hooked. Okay, that was that was ridiculous. That was just utterly, utterly ridiculous. I cannot believe how ridiculous that play went. Just started out and and like I never, like they, they, it was the second turn. They got they got one turn. That's it. And then we just went crazy. I must be honest with you. I thought you had half a chance of. Panicking outright at the sight of the first lion charging you, but you stood your ground and victory is your reward. Darn tootin'. I am so proud of you. You've done very well so far. Well, what do you have in store for us next? 
Your next match is for the benefit of the audience, not you. I have been working on a new idea to introduce a greater element of unpredictability into our fights. Mm. Exciting, right? I don't know. My people will erect two watchtowers at opposite sides of the arena. Then we will let two teams of gladiators enter. Archers in the watchtowers will shoot at all the gladiators, and then the lions will enter as well. That is insane. That sounds like utter pandemonium. What a spectacle. The audience will go wild. That sounds incredibly dangerous. I will not risk my friends' lives on such a thing. That is insane. That sounds like utter pandemonium. <laughs> you must have some measure of insanity to understand an audience. A sort of madness overtakes good people when they gather in a crowd. Trust me, the audience will love this. Yeah, they just kind of want to see us all die, don't they? Alright, but I have important business elsewhere. I may return some other time. Okie dokie. Well, I did get some extra money out of it, which is always nice. And... What do I have that's new? Some extra good salvage. Okay. Um, The Beastmaster. Oh, hey! You are the ones who have come to challenge me? Assuming you were the one called the Beastmaster, that is correct. You don't look like Dar. I'm surprised. My friend Bestia Tabat seems to believe uh, the uh, Parquet wants you to fight. I'm just here to test myself in the arena. Let's go with this second one. What are Parquet? Uh, the goddesses of fate that govern the life path of all humans. Uh. I would not dare to argue against one who claims to know what destiny has in store for him. My lions and I are the champions of this arena. If it were up to me, I would gladly fight any challenger, no questions asked. But our mistress Mira Samoon understands showmanship better than I. What is your relationship to Mira Samoon? We are friends. I knew her husband before he died. She is a fine woman. Wise with money and with people. How do you train your lions? In truth, lions are not really trained. You earn their respect. Teach them that no good comes from disobedience. And never forget that in truth, they are your masters. Uh, it seems cruel to make lions fight for you in the arena. When my lions come for your throat, we will see who is treated cruelly. How long have you been a gladiator? Not long compared to some. A little more than a decade. First, I was the keeper of the lions. Then I became their master. Then, I became the champion. Alright, I'll see you around. If nothing else, you will see me in the arena one day. Alrighty. Can I actually go in here? Can, but doesn't look like there's anything in there. No. All right. Um, maybe that's where some people will start, or something in the next uh, match. Maybe I don't know. That doesn't look like I can go any further in there. And we should have stuff highlighted if there's uh, if there was anything that we could actually like get in there. Just kind of want to see. I can't get my uh, my view any lower, unfortunately. All right. Well, let's go ahead and have the screen just go absolutely nuts on us. And. Go ahead and leave.
All right, so we'll come back uh, another time, maybe on the way back from this uh, trip um, to uh, Alexandria. Uh, I do kind of want to uh, try out this next thing. And I don't want to get to a point where, where it's like, oh, I just got to do, like, a whole bunch of these in a row um, because I've, I've let them just hang around for a bit. But that will be next time. I mean, I also don't want to have, like, a, a whole recording session of just fighting there, which could be fun a night and neat and everything like that, but I, I don't know, it just uh, feels like I, I want a little bit more variety. Anyway, when we come back next time, we're heading up to Alexandria that is in the wrong place. See you then, everyone. <laughs>